I'm playing with uh, one of the greatest generals of uh, all time here. This is pretty amazing. Well, great to have you, General. Um, my my great honor, sir. My name is Brian Voltaggio. Oh, you know, uh, I bow in your honor. I am a Virginian. In my day, hands are not taken. Oh, you don't you don't shake hands. Everything has changed. I, I see that you are a wilderness man. Yes, I am. I guess you consider me a wilderness man. Um, that's why I go fishing for fluke in Virginia. Well, you know, I am very partial to fish, and I am very partial to meat, and so I am very excited to learn about this uh, receipt. I, I, you, I think you call it a recipe? A recipe, yes, yes. yes. Well, um, thank you for coming to Estuary. This is our new restaurant we just opened in downtown DC. So it's great to have you across the Potomac. I, I, am, I am pleased and I must tell you, this is a magnificent facility. <laughs> thank you. Best of luck. So um, what we've done here, this is really great Virginia fluke. It's right off the coast of, um, of Virginia. It's caught near the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay. Um, and what we have here is actually tuna mohama. So this is dried cured tuna. It's not prosciutto. I thought it was meat. I know. It looks like it. Um, it's treated the same way. And so what we're doing is we're crushing it in the tuna, Mahama, and then we're going to cook the fluke a la plancha, which means we're going to cook it on a flat top griddle over here. I don't know if you're familiar with this, but I have commercial fishing at Mount Vernon. Do you really? Uh, we bring 1.6 million fish a year out of the Patamac River. How did you pronounce the river? Oh, the Potomac. The Patamac. Oh, the oh, the Patamac. The Patamac. Got it. Okay. All right. Uh, I think things have changed then. <laughs> All right. So what we're gonna do with the uh, fluke now is we're actually gonna cook it with the Mahama side down or the tuna side down to crisp it up on the plancha. So the tuna Mahama is actually a cured product that. Um, you'll find in Spain and Italy. Ah. So we do, even though uh, this restaurant is all about the estuary and the surrounding ingredients that are around our environment, we also take influence from worldly cuisines. Like, you know, obviously we know that this is a huge area of, um, you know, lots of cultures have come to, to DC and have imparted, you know, their food cultures into the district. We're seeing a lot more restaurants now where they're influencing our cuisine as well. Um, and, and so we learn, you know, these techniques from elsewhere and you know, adapt them to the food that we use here. I must tell you, I'm very heartened to learn that people have come from all corners of the earth because that yes. was my dream for the federal city. So what we'll do now is as we started to cook it, we're gonna turn it. You can see that the Mojama is starting to brown lightly and we're gonna cook it on both sides. We want the fish to be fully cooked. We want it to be slightly underdone. So to finish this dish, uh, we have some very fine julienne melon. So it's almost like a green melon, like a honeydew. Um, and it's really great because it's nice and crisp and it's going to add great texture to the plate. This is Sunamono, which is a dressing. It's influenced by Japanese cuisine, has shirodashi and some rice wine vinegar. We're just going to dress the melon lightly and then I'll place some onto the plate. The artistry continues. So uh, what I have here now is the, the fluke is plated next to the melon. We're gonna finish it with some wakame powder over the melon. This is a spice. It's a uh, seaweed that's been dried. Ah. And then we're gonna do what's called a quenelle. It's a French term for basically a football shape of bene seed cream, which is a kin of uh, a sesame seed. I see. So kind coming of like, from Coming from where? Uh, West Africa and in South. So you would find this in now in Southern cuisine a lot. You're seeing it like coming from Charleston and um, you know North Carolina, South Carolina. And that's where you're finding it cultivated now. Beautiful. Then next we're gonna finish it with some succulents. So we have uh, what's called here's crystal lettuce and some begonia leaves. In general, if you don't mind, I mean, maybe you place some of the leaves and flowers over the top. I'll, I'll pick the ice plant. You can place some of the leaves on the on the dish. Any particular place? Wherever you'd like. This is your dish. This is the creative moment. Yes, it is. So that's the dish. So what we have here is a Virginia fluke. Um, it's crusted with uh, mohama, which is a tuna. It's been air cured and dried. Uh, some very nice summer melon and a bene seed. 
uh, cream. I don't know how to ask this, but I, I, I can't really return to Mount Vernon without one more duty to serve. And what is that, sir? To taste your good oh, fare. You need to try the dish, okay. Um, I was hoping you were going to ask. Very small in your day. In my day, they are probably this large. We call those tablecloths now. Ah, well, we call them a neckcloth. <laughs> Are you perhaps looking for work? Uh, always, yeah. I might like to have a discussion with you about coming to Mount Vernon. I, okay. I think Mrs. Washington would enjoy you greatly okay. taking over our kitchen. <laughs> oh, really? So you're, gonna, you're telling me that you're going to tell your wife that I'm going to take over the kitchen at Mount Vernon? Well, I think that... Um, are you sure about that, sir? If everything that you make tastes like this, she's not going to have any complaint whatsoever. Okay, great. Well done. Thank you. Uh, I know you will shake hands. I will take your hand in the Quaker oh, manner. Oh, you will? Okay, <laughs> thank you, General. All it was best. a pleasure to cook with you and for you. And as the French say, bon appétit. Thank you, bon appétit. Well done. Click the subscribe button below and the bell icon to get notifications for new videos about George Washington and behind the scenes work at Mount Vernon.